Summer has recently moved out of the family home to live with Dad. You all right? You sure? I like making sure they're right. Like, I like being motherly to them and making sure that they've got everything they need. Huh? I do miss them. I'm scared. You best be. You best be. You best be. Oh, let's have a hug. They are a tight-knit family, and often when tight-knit families fall apart, they do it spectacularly. Because it's not just about mum and dad, it's the impact it's had on all the siblings. Like Jeb, Summer has recently been in trouble with her teachers. Is Miss going to come down? Yeah, but I'm not talking to her. That'd be the best thing is don't say nothing. Just let Miss say what she's got to say, yeah? Following an argument with her drama teacher, she's been sent to see Hazel, a non-teaching member of staff who deals with student behaviour. All right, Miss. Hi. Um, I just want to know what you're doing. I swore the first time and you said stop. I know and you know that you swore at least three times. I swore once when you told me to stop. Until you're going to have to wait to apologise to me. Apologise for what? Like apologise for what? I'm talking like this because you're sending me out amongst everyone else. So I'm not nice. going to have you back in my lesson until you are willing to... I don't to care. You just put me in a bad mood for no reason. I'm fed up with your stuff all the time. It's always me. It's always me. Listen, I, I, we're not going to talk about it now because I really have to... Then so why are you still talking? To, to go and sort out. Then why are you still talking about it? If I'm upset about something, I'll take it out by shouting at someone, but when it comes to talking how I feel, I'm not... I don't say how I really do feel, if you know what I mean. It's a to Everything's going wrong. Yeah, mm. yeah. School used to be like I could get away from everything that was going on if there was a problem at home. But yeah, you felt if you came just, here it, was, it weren't too bad. Yeah. I just feel like I need a fresh start, to be honest. It feels like everyone's watching you, like everyone just knows how you feel, but obviously they don't. It just feels like someone's just opened me up and, like, just told everyone about, um, me. Moving house, miss. I'm just gonna go somewhere fine and move school from there. You know, nine times out of ten, schools are near enough the same, sweetie, didn't you? I think she puts on a front, Summer, and that's how she copes. She thinks it's a new beginning. But it's like I said to her, whether she wants to go to a new school, her mum and dad are still split up. Give me a hug. All right, yeah. Yeah. You sure? <laughs> you know where I am. Thanks. See you later, see you. As sympathetic as we are to pupils and as supportive as we are, when they're going through bad times in their life, we, they have got to respect the rules in the school and they've got to respect the people in the school. So, what are we going to do? It's not coming out. You can exclude me, put me in intervention, do what you want. No, I don't want to do that. It's my decision and it was my answer. Who, who did you go with, Mum or Dad? My dad. I don't live with my mum. I appreciate it's rubbish at the moment and there's lots of stuff going on. I appreciate all of that. I don't want to cause you more distress by... The school's already gave me distress. Miss Smith stands in the corridor and goes, are you OK, Summer? Like, I've got something wrong with me. I don't want to ask him that every day. Okay. I don't want people saying to me, I understand how it is when they clearly don't. OK. I mean, ultimately, it's only because people care about you. Talking to a person is not going to help me. And I've tried to say this to them so many times and they keep going on and on and on about it. I don't really need to talk to anyone. The only reason I'm speaking to you at all is because of this. I wouldn't be having a conversation with you or giving you any of my attention if it wasn't for that piercing. And I don't want this to be like this, but I, I can see it's going to go that way, isn't it? It's, it's already happened with this school. I don't know this school. I don't know anyone in this school. So it doesn't make a difference. Makes me sad. A lot of support has been offered to Summer, who quite clearly struggling with everything that's going on. The sport's always going to be there. At some point, she will actually find something that she'll find helpful and will work for her. But at the moment, she's not going to take it. If, by any miraculous chance, you suddenly soften and change your mind... Yes, that's not going to happen. But do let me know, cos it will save me a job bringing your dad. There are ways we can help people going through these kind of difficulties if the obvious means of support are not helping. Summer? Next week, I'm running a slam poetry workshop, and your name's been put forward 
Name for it. Why me? One of the 15 kids that could do it. Some of the strategies are by stealth. Engaging in the sporting activities, engaging in drama, engaging in music. You know, people have got different ways of dealing with stressful situations. But if you're getting in trouble or anything, I'm going to really struggle to get you on that. And we will keep trying different things without it but explicitly looking like we're trying to talk about your problems. Who feels comfortable writing? It's Tuesday. Summer has been chosen to take part in a poetry workshop with Mr Bisfam and a guest poet. I'm not talking about spelling or grammar or anything like that, just getting your ideas down on the page. And I'll help you do it, don't worry. So see the tower block? There's loads of windows, yeah? Put your hand up if you can see anyone looking out the window. Nice one. I love writing things. It sort of puts all your feelings down onto one page without you having to tell someone. But I would say, if I was writing about a girl, I would say, like, when she's not at home, she's a bubbly, loud, yeah. but we all know inside she's hiding this oh. and that. Sometimes I should just go and write it down instead of um, going to shout at someone or say this and that, because I don't always mean what I say when I'm angry. Um, can I just say something, yeah? Um, it's like, it's not about me, if you know what I mean, but it's saying, it's saying me in it. My hopes are high, higher than a skyscraper, but now they've dropped to my feet, each tear shed engraved in my cheek. The sore scars remained for days whilst crying for many different ways. Closed eyes, beating heart, soon it's key to stop. What would it stop mean? It stopped the last sound on your body that shuts down before it takes you over. Who am I? Is this me? When mum and dad that split up, I was so afraid of everyone knowing. And then everyone knew, and it was sort of like, whoa. That's amazing. What's your name? Summer. Summer. Got it. S uh, Summer. Like S U M M E R. Got it. Amazing. I sort of realised, why am I getting upset over this? It doesn't matter if people know. Do you want to read it? Writing a poem like that for Summer was a huge deal because she's not somebody who would easily articulate her feelings in any way. It doesn't, when you read it to yourself, it doesn't sound as, as good. Oh, yeah, because I have to say it in a bit, like each bit and stuff. Where she was before to how she was when she came out of that poetry workshop, you could see like a weight had lifted. That is fantastic. Thanks. That is absolutely fantastic. It's really, even just reading it is quite <laughs> moving. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, you should be really proud of that. Well done. Let's have a look at the top columns. It says writing, extended writing, and source work. So, should I aim for level five or six? Six, Summer. OK, because I think you can push yourself on this. It's the end of the spring term, and Summer has chosen which subjects she'll be taking for GCSEs next year. I'm hopeful for Summer as she moves into Year 10. She's certainly much calmer, much more reasonable, and got back to that really lovely young person that she can be. So can you say, like, in my opinion? Yes, stuff like it that? is your opinion. OK, all right, good. So I'm just checking. Okay. There's a point where I hated school. Like, I hated everyone in it. All, I just felt like all the teachers were just picking on me. I was going to leave. Now, thinking about it, it's just silly. Do you want to stay? Yeah. Have a nice Easter summer. Yeah, I will miss you. Have, like miss. Have, a nice Have a nice time in, in Spain. Spain. Oh, I yeah. will do. No one's thinking of you, just yeah, remember yeah, that. whatever. <laughs> Make sure you come back after the two weeks' holidays. I will, I promise. I love you loads. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>